Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn a little something about reference angles. So as we're dealing with the unit circle, we use reference angles all the time. A reference angle is the distance of the terminal side of an angle, in this case theta, to the horizontal axis, which is our x axis. A reference angle is always positive. And the reference angle will always be an acute angle, meaning it's going to fall between 0 and 90. So over here in the drawing, I've got the position of how you draw a reference angle. So if your terminal side is in quadrant 1, your reference angle will just be right here. It's actually just the same angle itself. But if you've rotated your angle into quadrant 2, your reference angle will be this shorter distance back to this horizontal axis or the x-axis. In quadrant 3, if you've rotated your angle over here, you are still going to go back to the x-axis, so your reference angle will be this one in blue. And then for quadrant 4, your refer if you've rotated all the way around to quadrant four, your reference angle will actually be this small distance back to the x-axis. So it's always this distance back to the x-axis. Now let's look at one quadrant at a time. So to find a reference angle in each quadrant, let's start with quadrant one. It's just going to be the given angle. So quadrant one's really easy. So if you have a 30 degree angle, so if this is 30 degrees, we rotated in this positive direction, the distance back to the x-axis is still 30 degrees. So quadrant one is the easiest one. It's just the angle itself. Now quadrant two. To find the reference angle in quadrant two, let's think about this rotation. So you've rotated into quadrant two, this blue line is your terminal side. You're going to find this angle. We're calling it theta prime. Theta prime is just found by taking 180 degrees, and we're going to subtract the given angle of 135. So the reference angle for 135 is actually just 45 degrees. How far is it from the x-axis? 45 degrees. Let's look at quadrant 3. Quadrant 3, starting on the positive x-axis, we're going to rotate to quadrant 3. Now, this is going to be found by how far it is from the x-axis. Well, we've passed the x-axis. So we're going to take that given angle, which is greater than 180, and we're going to subtract 180 from it to find the reference angle. So this one's just going to be 60 degrees. So it's the given angle minus 180. And then in quadrant four, we're circling around the circle. Our terminal side ends in quadrant four. We haven't quite made it all the way back to the x-axis. So how far away are we? We take 360 and subtract the given angle. So 360 minus 310 in this example would give us 50 degrees. So all of our angles are positive. All of our angles fall between 0 and 90, and we're drawing them back to that x-axis. And that's how you find reference angles in the unit circle.